Dimity Taylor is doing the rounds on her sheep farm in the New South Wales Central Tablelands. As the sun sets, she gets a regular reminder of how the region is changing. We find it beautiful. The sunsets that reflect off the turbines during sunset is just so beautiful. There, there is some noise occasionally, but it's got to be perfect conditions. And even then, even when we do hear them, it kind of sounds like the ocean. <laughs> For five years, the wool and sheep meat producer has lived beside a wind farm at Bannister, about 30 kilometres northwest of Goulburn. They've been a good neighbour. It's part of the reason why she's keen to be involved in clean energy. So she's investing in a nearly $5 million solar farm being built by a community organisation on Goulburn's outskirts. People are just excited that the community is owning it. It's not some big foreign company that we actually get to be owning this project and driving this project from our, from our community and being the change we want to see happen. 300 Goulburn residents have invested in the solar farm run by Community Energy for Goulburn. People have bought one solar panel for $400 right up to an investment of $100,000. After eight years of planning and consultation, work has finally begun on this two hectare block. There's a conversion box on to the... Ed Suttle is a cattle breeder and vice president of Community Energy for Goulburn. There's the high voltage fire. When Landline visited, he was giving his team of engineers a tour of the site and also staff from the Australian Rail Track Corporation, which has supplied some of the land. Once built, he says the 4,500 panel farm will be the first community-owned solar farm in Australia with a battery. It was the brainchild of five or six of us. It's the classic kitchen table discussion. People who were fed up with the apparent lack of activity at state and federal level about developing renewables and ending fossil fuels. So, in short, we felt we needed to do something ourselves. All the energy produced will be sold into the grid and it's estimated the farm will generate a profit of around 5% per year. There are several ways of setting up a community energy project. This solar farm here in Goulburn will be run as a cooperative where each investor becomes a member of the co-op and receives one vote. That means regardless of the size of the investment, every member gets an equal say. And with most investors living locally, the profits stay in the community. The pure democracy of it was very attractive to our investors. It means you don't have one or two rich people potentially taking it over and running it. Community energy projects are taking off. It's estimated that over the past eight years, the number of groups setting up projects around Australia has almost tripled to 145. But it's not only locals interested in building solar farms in Goulburn. The area has also caught the interest of the private sector. I think it, it basically comes back to where we're situated more than anything else. Uh, because Goulburn's situated on the, uh, the transmission lines, it tends to lead to investors wanting to come here and set up. But not everyone is happy about the arrival of a big energy company. Stan Moore is a wool grower on the Gundry Plains, about 12 kilometres south of Goulburn. A 400 megawatt solar farm is proposed on a neighbouring property. It's a massive multi-million dollar project and will go for four kilometres along his fence line. The biggest impact not only the noise of operation and the inconvenience, but the whole landscape and outlook will be totally destroyed of the whole Gundary Plains. This is a historic plain. There are a lot of people, it's a closer settled area, and there are a lot of people who are going to be impacted. Just on this one alone, there'll be over 60 families impacted, and those families are neighbours or adjacent to neighbours and therefore are impacted by the visual uh, aspects of this solar factory. 
The project is backed by British energy giant BP. 740,000 panels will be installed across 700 hectares. It was put out for community consultation by LightSource BP. Stan Moore has been disappointed by his interactions with the energy company. And all they do is come along and tell us how good it's going to be for us. And I've suggested to them maybe they would like to purchase this property if they think there's no impact on value. Come and purchase it, give us the price, plus a premium for the inconvenience, and then you go ahead and you keep it and you sell it and see what you can do with it. No, they, they, their consultation process is bordering on being a sham. And also, LightSource BP says it has engaged with the local community extensively over the past year. It says it has also made changes to the layout of the solar farm based on feedback. Dimity Taylor believes community-backed energy projects get consultation right. Locals make the decisions. I've seen the effects of when a renewable energy project doesn't do good early consultation and it causes so much disruption in the community. And I love that the community solar farm went and interviewed every single person who was likely to have be able to see the solar farm and had genuinely asked them, are you happy with this? Is there anything we can do to make it a bit better? How do you feel about this solar farm? So because they had that really good early consultation, they've had so little opposition. The New South Wales government is supporting the Goulburn Solar Farm. It's giving it $2.3 million. Part of that money is to fund a knowledge sharing document when we've finished, which is a template for any other community in the entire country to do what we've done, <laughs> but without making all the mistakes we've made on the way. But for now, just Goulburn is getting its own community solar farm. Plans are to supply power to the grid by the end of the year. I really hope that this model can be expanded and I feel like this project in particular is paving the way to, to make that more possible. This project has had to go through a lot of hurdles to, to, to get going, but that should make other projects in the future much easier to roll out. <laughs>